We have developed the world's first distributed farming model where we grow fresh produce right on site with retailers and restaurants. In the United States, food travels on average 1,500 miles before it gets to the consumer, it loses nutrient density, it loses quality, and we're actually throwing away just a ton of that produce because it goes bad before it even gets to the shelf. At that point, the grocery store has days before it actually goes bad and the consumer never actually gets to touch it. By growing food on site, you eliminate all that. You have the freshest produce possible, you have the highest nutrient density possible, and the retailer actually has more time to sell that produce. And so that 40% of food that's being thrown away every single day, that actually goes down to 5% or potentially even to 0%. Technically, this is vertical farming. We grow in a vertical allocation. And so each of our units have three to four shelves, it's very controlled. We capture millions of data points from these systems. So there's a lot of technology that goes into growing this produce. Because of that, we have considerably higher yields and faster growth rates than a lot of the industry. We're certified organic, and so we're not doing any funny stuff with the varieties that we do grow. We centralize different aspects of our production and make it so the produce itself can actually be very affordable on site. Usually in urban environments, it's very hard to justify growing produce. But customers are demanding it. They're demanding it all around the world, not only in the United States. They want visibility of their produce, they want traceability, they want to make sure it's clean and safe and it's grown by someone that they know. And the way that we're doing it by growing in front of their customers, it checks off all of those boxes while also being affordable. The goal for Smallhold is making it so it's not a premium product. This is just how these crops are grown. And as far as we can tell, most of the retailers are really responding to that. The indoor agriculture and vertical farming is pretty hot space for investors currently. Everyone eats and so it's a very large market when you think about food in general. But a lot of people think about the future, they see issues with distribution, they see issues with pesticide use, they see issues with GMOs. And so everyone's kind of looking for different opportunities, kind of getting in that space and providing good food to the world.